Hello you guys, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila and I'm here to do the weekly general reading for <clears throat> excuse me for the Taurus so I'm going to be doing things differently this week this is not a love centered reading um, although if it is something going on in your love life I'll probably see it um, so this is going to be for the Taurus for the week beginning today May the 9th um, until May the 16th so this is some of you Taurus's birthday we're actually in your moon or whatever you want to call it so um, happy birthday to all of the Tauruses If you want a personalized reading, the link is in the video description box. This video is sponsored and paid for by the TheDivineMommy.com. And um, it may not resonate with all of you. Um, so this reading is going to be a six. I'm sorry. It's going to be a five card spread. And so right now, um, we just, we're waxing. The moon is in a waxing crescent stage <clears throat> so this is a very important time because we just um, passed the new moon okay so the new moon just passed a few days ago so there should be some new beginnings and so this is going to be about banishing cleansing getting rid of old habits okay so card number one is going to be what you Tauruses need to discard um, card number two is what you need to block Card number three is what action you need to take. And card number four is what you need to avoid. And card number five is what you need to accept. All right, just let me shuffle a little bit. Um, if you guys want to look at the illustration of the Deviant Moon Tarot deck, this is the deck that I'm, I'm using. Um, you can actually just go Google real quick because I'm sorry, guys. I don't have the time for the editing. So... Please forgive me for that. Thank you for being patient and understanding with also the voiceovers. Um, as an authentic psychic, I have to protect myself. So it's best for me not to be on camera. And um, I also can't wear my bendy over my third eye while I'm doing reading. So it's just best to leave it like this. Okay. All right. So I'm done shuffling. I'm just going to cut the cards in okay, so this is really interesting I think you Tauruses are going to really love this um, so you've got some major stuff going on this week obviously because you got the death card is what you need to discard so there's a lot of different possibilities with the death card again this is a major arcana so um the death card is all about transformation. Okay? So, but we have to look at it in a different light. Okay? What is the cards really trying to tell us? What do you need to get rid of, Taurus? You need to get rid of a situation that can be possibly dangerous to you. Something that could possibly kill you. Okay? So, this is not a love reading. This is a general reading. So, I have to generally do it for each sign. So, the death card is about some sort of suffering that you're going through okay um it may be an abusive job an abusive relationship with a friend i mean it can be anything you know you're really sacrificing yourself for this person and it's fruitless this is um you know the death card could mean the death of of someone in your family it could mean that there you know is some sort of death around you and you're noticing a lot of death around you so, judging by the other cards, I, I can see a lot of you Tauruses coming to me this week. I'm not even going to lie to you. Let me go over all of them. Also, this is about some sort of secret money deal that may have something to do with a sexual partner. It could symbolize sexual disease or you could just have discovered a big secret that you didn't know or you're going to this week. Okay, so... 
And this reading is going to prepare you. It's not meant to hurt you. It's meant to help you through this process, this transformation or this transition. So, Taurus, what you need to block, you got the Knight of Cups. So this is a court card and you guys already know this is a literal person. So there's literally a person in your life that you need to block this person. Um, you know, the knight is a messenger. And the knight of cups is someone that is um, sort of emotional. Someone that you've got some sort of emotional attachment with. Um, this person is, is, is somebody that you need to block. It's fruitless. And it's causing a lot of issues. Um, this is in position number two. So what is blocking you? It's literally a person. It could be male, female. It could be a friend. It could be a boyfriend. You know, this is a general reading. It's not a love reading. Um, but if it does have something to do with someone that you are, you know, involved with. I mean, it could be a spouse. It could be, you know, a friend. So, you know, evidently there's definitely someone coming through very strongly in your reading. Um, and they're really affecting you. And I also see something going on near the full moon. Now, right now, we're at the Waxing Crescent. And our next full moon is actually going to be, um, I think it should be around the 20th. Yeah. We'll be at the full moon around the 20th, of the actually a few days before. So there's a lot of changes that you need to make, a lot of protection that you probably should do for this person. Okay. Um, the emotional attachment, the cards are saying it is not healthy, whoever it is. Um, action, how are you to proceed? You got the three of wands, okay? So there's some support for you. I can see the support around you. It's probably, it could be God, it could be angels, it could be people, it could be, I mean, it could be a host of people, you know, I mean, it depends on your individual reading. Again, the three of wands symbolizes growth. Okay, so you got a lot of growing up to do. A lot of you. Um, also, your the, the three of wands symbolizes a pregnant expectant mother. Um, and she's waiting. Okay, so this is a woman in waiting. So if you're a man, um, you know, maybe to start over your relationship, maybe you do need to go ahead and, and I, I get the sense that for a lot of you Tauruses, you want children. Okay, and so for this card to pop up, you know, this is saying that you need to go ahead and proceed you know, with whatever, because the three of wands is really a very, very, very happy card. So there's definitely hope for you this week. Um, to be honest with you, for a lot of you Tauruses, whatever action you're going to take, you're going to see results. Not until next year. And a lot of people will come to me and they'll say, oh, well, how long is this thing going to take? And I'll... You know, I'll say up to two moon cycles, but it really depends on you. I always tell my clients that to work out issues within your life could take up to year. Up, up to, could, it could take one year. It could take one month. It could take 10 years. So, you know, this is, uh, you know, letting you know that you have work to do. You are being faced with an intellectual or mental challenge. In order to succeed, you must be able to think creatively or invent a path forward. So manifestation is really important. The three of wands stands for fresh starts, achievements, and positive partnerships. It could mean some sort of business expansion, or it could be the confirmation that you are on the right path toward success. It has an overall positive tone. So, you know, and I think that this is going to involve someone of the Aries Zodiac. I think this Aries is going to provide the Taurus with, you know, whatever kind of drama that they need. And I think that whoever this Aries is or some fire sign is a good match. 
Um, the water sign that you're involved with, Taurus, is no good. There's a water sign that you need to leave behind is another thing. In position number two, you got the block. So this person, you know, some even if the even if you care about this person, sometimes you have to block people that are not. It's just a waste of your time. I mean, seriously. Now, card number four is what to avoid, what to stay away from. You got the six of cups. And this is directly pointing to someone that you used to be involved with. You need to cut that off. You need to stay away from it. This is someone either from your childhood or someone from the past or maybe even a past life. This person is not um, going to be the, the a, a good thing for you. So this week, if you run into somebody, Taurus, you need to be careful. This person might be a friend, an associate, you know, just avoid them. Now, your final card, Taurus, is what you need to accept and embrace and you got the devil what you need to accept and embrace is that you are not in control over as much as you think that you are okay there is higher powers working against you also there's uh witchcraft being used on a lot of you tauruses um and but i think the gist of it going from the death card as your first card and then comparing it to the devil on the side means that if you continue on this path, okay, this is not um, a curse on you. This is so that you can make changes that are necessary. The devil card is about bondage. You need to accept that you are in bondage. It is not good for you. It is not becoming. And it is the devil. Literally, the devil to a lot of people means a lot of different things. But to me and to a lot of other people, it's negative energy. You know, it's a spiritual being that, you know, has lots and lots of, I mean, it's, I mean, you guys know what the devil is. But, I mean, it could be someone, you know, a partner. It could be someone, you know, that person that is kind of like, um, you know, death. It's just some sort of death of something that you're going to be dealing with this week and in order for you to get through it the devil card comes up and it, it symbolizes breaking free from a dominant violent or oppressive situation okay um and you're going to discover shocking aspects to something this week and you're going to also realize that your part that there could be a, a business partner friend that's not being faithful and I'm, I'm, I'm really getting a vibe from a friend, especially with this Knight of Cups. This person is coming through really strongly and they are really affecting your life. So um, I'm going to conclude this reading, okay, because I'm starting to get chills. If you need a personalized reading, I will try to do same day readings. My schedule is going to be opened up a lot wider this week because I'm open for the next couple of weeks because I am taking new clients. So. Um, I'm also taking apprentices and then also I'm having a 3,000 subscriber giveaway. Um, so be on the lookout for that. Make sure that you subscribe. Make sure that you thumbs up. And I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.